So, a bit of sun in the sky. Finally, the rain has stopped for just a little bit. Um, <coughs> we've uh, just brought some bees down to this magnificent new site that we've got. Not quite sure how magnificent it's going to be, but um, yeah, it should be should be good. There's like there's an orchard over there. Um, the other side of that kind of housing estate at the top of the hill, there's there's more apple orchards over there. Um, so yeah, it should be should be a promising site. I'm hoping it should be a promising site. So um, yeah. So we've got we've got 13 here. Normally we run in sites of 24, but um, we've taken off a couple of sites more than what we had planned to this year, and um, so we're just trying to get some bees onto each site. Um, and then next year we'll we'll move more around and fill them all up again because we're going to make a lot of nukes this year, which is uh, a positive, very good positive. Um, so yeah, so I've got them all off the van. I've taken all the straps off of them. I've done absolutely everything. Um, put them in place. Well, all I've got to do is just let them out, really. Um, so at the minute, they've got the entrance reducers in them. Um, normally, we kind of take them out and put foam in and um, so on and so forth. And if we're moving them in the spring, we just um, or the summer, we just put the foams in. Um, but kind of back in the winter, we kind of thought, well, we probably stress the bees out more taking the entrance reducers out. Um, and putting the foams in than what good it actually does. So I just thought I would, on this move, I would just try putting the, some duct tape over the entrance. So what I'm gonna try and do is, I have got a smoker lit, so if they all come pouring out, um, I can smoke them back in. Because um, that's one thing you don't want is, you know, it's, it's why in the warmer months, you should really let your bees out kind of seven o'clock at night you know just just as dusk really i'm not going to say seven o'clock at night because it varies throughout the year but kind of just at dusk time um and it just stops the bees when you once you move them to a new 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 site it just stops them all pouring out in a panic and um and just yeah not being able to reorientate to where they've been moved to Sometimes they just pour out and, <clears throat> yeah, thousands of bees will just pour out. Um, and then they come out in such a panic, they go, oh God, where are we? And then they kind of, they do eventually get back, but they kind of take some bit of time. This way I tend to find there's a lot less stress involved. And at the end of the day, bees are a livestock, so one thing we don't want is stress. Good animal husbandry is. Good animal husbandry always has a positive outcome of non, no stress. Oh, I got a feeling this but could be a bit. Oh, no. um, and I suppose another positive with using this duct tape, which I kind of thought of, is if by any chance, which there shouldn't be any chance, because we always double check. You might have talked that. We always double check. If there's any chance whatsoever, it's just starting to come out. If there's any chance whatsoever that somebody has left an entrance closed with the duct tape, at least when it rains, the duct tape will fall off. Um, I have seen some colonies that, that end up, you know, being locked up for a week because. You know, it's, it, and it, it happens, it happens. It does happen. Not very often with us, because we're all very, um, yeah, we're all very good at looking at the, the entrances and opening them up. So we brought some overwintered nukes here as well. Um, so they need to be, well, they can't really be transferred at the minute because it's a bit too cold. So, but, um, but they will need to be put into, proper hives ASAP when weather permits I've got a feeling these might come out so oh, there's a couple just peeking out the door it's a bit cold from you it's only I think six degrees so but 
I'm very much, I've learned, always best to have your smoker ready, just in case. Because, stop a lot of stinks. <laughs> so. so yeah, and then some of these doors on the nukes, I haven't got any tape on. I just open them up gently, just a bit, so that they can come out. Um, yeah, that's, that's easy enough, that's easy enough. So the, these are all actually overwintered nukes. Um, it's just that some of these were strong enough to go into hives. Um, kind of July time, July, August, August time, I think. So, um, so yeah, so they kind of went in then. I think next year, I think it's either, it's, I think we kind of learned a little bit that it's either we transfer them all, we don't transfer them at all because um, it's going to be a bit of a bummer now but thankfully I've recorded where all the little poly nukes are so I'm not driving around endlessly looking at all the sites that we've moved them to um, trying to find them so you know we can go direct to the sites where the polys are but still it's going to involve a lot of driving around so anyway right final check open open They're open. They're starting to put the lead out the door. See what they're up to. They're open. And ones are coming out. Yeah, I always double check. I always double check. Well, I didn't need my smoker. That's a good job. All open. So, so yeah, so that's kind of what I've done today. Moved a few bees about. Um, Nick's gone off to another two, another two sites. Um, well, he's gone off to another site. I'm going to drop them off there. Then I'm going to go to the third one with him and help him there because that's a bit of a handball job. So yeah, so that's kind of it for the minute. This vid. Um, anyhow. I'll end it there pretty abruptly and I shall uh, see you next time.